Hi everyone, welcome to a little video here where me and Stentric play some games and have a big discussion about where the game is going and what we think of the new update. So, what do yeah, you think of enough. this level? We're gonna just chat about the new update and mine and Stentric's thoughts in this video. So this is actually one of my favorite maps, believe it or not, just because of the skips in it. Like, I can do like a really, really fast speed run here. Oh, I've seen your speed run on this one and I've tried to copy it and there's this one skip that's on the fence and I just could not jump over it. It only works on the left side. If you go on the right, the fence is too far away. Oh, so it really? only works on the left. And they, yeah, they built the level slightly like uneven. So you have to go on the left. I feel like that's one of the problems with creative is there's no like proper grid. Sim yeah, there's no symmetry. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go on the left side and then I, I just take the speed boost twice. Cause yeah. I'm at the end. I'll wait for you. I'm so far away. What do you think about this map? So I think this level is one of the best ones that they've added that is a creative level. The only downsides, I think it's a bit confusing for newer players. I don't think they really know where to go, but there's so many different options. That it makes it really exciting. Hey, let me piggyback you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, I think overall, this is one of the best ones. The only ones that I really don't like are the survival rounds, but I don't think that's so much a problem with the creators, but just the limitations. You remember how races were when Creative first came out? I feel like survival is still like that at the moment. It's very basic. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely a temporary issue because um, rotation controller survival levels are really good. I don't know if you've seen them on Twitter, yeah. but like it's literally just because the, this first round pool of the Fall Forever update is only levels without rotation controller, which is kind of like uh, unfortunate. I kind of wish they added like at least some Fall Guys team survival rounds to this first round pool. I just agree. to showcase the new rotation controller feature. Because they kind of jumped right into the player made rounds and it doesn't really showcase new features from the update. It's just kind of old levels. Yeah, I don't think survival was quite ready for main show yet for creative. But already, like you say, the ones on Twitter that are coming out. They're already so yeah. much better just because of that one additional tool. Yeah, because rotation controller allows you to make like even like roll off type rounds. Like I've seen jump showdown roll off type rounds. You can make actually like functional survival rounds that isn't just, you know, a blast ball or blast lantis copy. It's just PvP stuff really, and it's not any better than the PvP ones we already have. I hate Hoopsie Daisy <laughs> solo. It like sucks. this should not have been made. I do like the idea, but yeah, it's just so luck based. I saw Crispy Squid post on Twitter about it and I think the best solution if they want to make this a solo round is they have to like cut the map in half. I actually have not played duos in the new update yet so this is uh, kind of a learning experience for me to see how they've done it. Yeah me neither I have not played duos or squads since the update yet. This actually works a bit better in duos. Yeah I'm happy that they've at least like they brought back LTMs because uh, the other day we got extreme squads. Also we should piggyback because we can both get Oh points. totally. <laughs> Go for it. I really enjoy piggybacking, it's so fun. Yeah, that's probably my favorite part about the update. Okay, nothing spawning here. I thought there was gonna be a gold. The best strategy that I've found is literally just stay on the disc and a lot a lot should spawn like around here like that one or this one. Yeah. The spinner is the only real strategy in, in this mode. Literally just stay on the spinner and then wait for stuff to spawn. Well, as a team, this round is still good. Like, obviously we're in duos. Yeah, this is I, fine. Again, yeah, it's just... When it's a solo, it's just tough. It's funny in solos, it's now like the hardest level. See uh, like two or three people qualify a lot of the time. Yeah, the timer is tough. It gives you like no time either. Like I off, I don't think I've ever died to like the qualification part. It's literally just the timer that gets me sometimes. It's so quick. This is good because this isn't like a blast ball type. I feel like I kind of hated on this round too much initially when it, the update first came out, but it's just because it was like impossible to play. But honestly, like the fact that it's not like a blast ball type level is still like pretty good. Like this is like a functional kind of like jump showdown type map. Yeah, I think the good rule that I would have for any creative survival round is it has to be fun to play by yourself. It has to still be kind of functional, even with just one person. They definitely fixed the fan. Like yeah. when, the, when the update first came out, the fan was so unbelievably strong that it just made the map impossible to play. Now this map is actually pretty fun with the fix. Like this, this is a good map, I would say. Oh, I just had to grab a guy, he's gone. <laughs> oh, I just got disconnected. <laughs> but honestly though, like if, if Gooselim is watching this video by any chance, like I do want to apologize because I feel like I hated on fan siege rotation way too much. Like yeah. especially like I, I, I pre-recorded a lot of videos at the very start of the update that are still like even coming out on like 
my channel, other people's channels recently. It has like clips of me saying like, oh, I hate fan seat rotation. It's actually not bad. Like honestly, it was mainly just the fan glitch. I feel bad for hating on it. It's actually a good map. It's actually a good map now that it's like fixed and everything. It looks nice and it's anything is better than a PVP level. This update has got to be at least one of the most controversial Fall Guys updates we've ever had. I've never really been on the Fall Guys Reddit until the update came out. I actually like took the time to like make my own account and I was like looking through the Reddit. It's like the complete opposite of like YouTube or Twitter or any of that. It's like Reddit is just like like oh, literally relentless. Oh, you you're gonna do the same thing. Oh yeah, I always just go on the umbrella. Yep. Yeah, it's so I think safe. the umbrella is the best spot. Wait, I wonder if you can like boost me up to the, uh, the Ooh, palm maybe. tree if I jump on your head. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, the blast! Wait, what? There's an invisible barrier. Oh. There's an invisible uh, kill zone on the palm tree. That's oh, weird. Oh no. I don't like invisible kill zones. I think that's really cheap. Yeah, me neither, because you never really know if they're going to be there or not. I, I wish they just would add like invisible walls. I think we're actually going to qualify still though. That's crazy. Oh, what? Oh, I thought <laughs> we were dead. I backed out. Your maps are really good as well. I feel like I suck at making maps, bro. Like, I, I don't know. My brain just kind of shuts off when I try to make maps. It's one of those things where you have to make a bit and then do something else and then come back to it. For me anyway, I feel like if I try and just sit there for hours, I don't get anything done and I get bored. I make it look nice or I'll get bored of it anyway and then come back to it after a while. That's probably smart. I feel like whenever I've tried to make maps, it's it's like I sit down and I don't stop until the level's finished. I feel like it would probably be smart to do it in pieces. Probably yeah. gonna do that next time I make a map actually. So this level is probably one of my least favorite ones. I don't think it looks qualished enough to be actually in one of the biggest shows in the game. I would agree, yeah. It feels like this is a map that I could make. Like, yeah. It feels like it's like a very, very simple, like you, it takes 10 minutes to make type map. You know what I mean? Yeah, obviously it was made before the physics changes. So maybe it was a bit more fun before that. But even so, the way it looks, imagine if you were a new player or a mobile player and this was the first round you saw in this game. To be fair, I feel like although this map does look like like it took like 10 minutes to make. I mean, you could also say that about like Blast Ball, like actual official Blast Ball. Like that map also looked like it probably like wasn't that difficult to make. Same with big shots. Like it's literally a seesaw and some cannons and an ax. Yeah, pretty much. There are yeah. so many levels that are just very, very simple. Seesaw. Oh, rest in peace. <laughs> oh, I'm out. Are we good though? I think yeah. a lot of people died. So I think we're probably fine. We're first place. Nice. E easy quals. One thing I really don't like about past couple years of the game is the fact that uh, they keep vaulting like everything from SS2. I feel like the stuff they added in SS2 was so good. Like yeah. Space Race was literally one of the best design maps in the entire game, in my opinion. Also, the variations from SS2 were really, really good. They were but, like, excellent. Pretty much everything. Everything from SS2 besides like what Hyperdrive Heroes, I think, and Hexaterrestrial has pretty much been gone from the game for like a long, long time. A lot of that stuff was the last stuff that was made before the Switch release. And the Switch just couldn't handle the detail of those levels, so they had to take them out for that. And then the Switch ended up being one of the most popular consoles that anyone plays Fall Guys on. I think Fall Guys has permanently been in the top 10 of all Switch games, which is crazy. Like when people call this a dead game, the Switch is so popular and so many people play on the Switch. Wait, this is like the what in the top 10 most popular Switch games. That's uh, actually kind of crazy because yeah. you have like because you have like Mario games on there as well. It's kind of kind of wild yeah. actually. It's huge on Switch. I think actually Fall Guys most popular console, like the, the one with the most players is still Switch. I mean, this kind of feels like a Nintendo game if you think about it. Like it a lot of aspects about Fall Guys are like Nintendo like. I feel like unsuspecting people would, would I wouldn't be surprised if they think this is made by Nintendo, <laughs> like legit. It definitely has the kind of family friendly, really bright and colorful look to it. Yeah, I really hope they add like a, a Mario collab at some point. I think it would be cool to have like, I don't know, a, a Yoshi, I think a Toad skin would be perfect as well. Like yeah. even Toad has like all guys eyes naturally. One guy left. Let's see if we can uh, beat the timer. Also this fame pass has some of the coolest costumes I think we've had for ages. Oh, hundred percent. Those, those uh, flame skins are really cool. Just cause the fact that like the head animates, I really like that. Have you seen the carbon knight? I think oh, yeah. I made a tweet about that. The Carbon Knight is the coolest unreleased skin I've seen. I feel like it's even better than the Dark Knight, and so many people wanted that, that if this is a Showbuck skin, they're instantly just gonna make so much money from selling it. Yeah, it looks like a like a Dark Knight combined with the Golden Knight. Like, it's like a mixture of the two, which oh, is I died. really sick. <laughs> with the infrared faceplate, it would look absolutely awesome. I don't, is that enough? <gasps> oh. 
<laughs> we might be okay. I was... Yeah, we're okay. Oh, wow. Okay. One thing I really haven't liked about, like, the community recently, which I, I, I just really hope this changes about, like, the community, at least at some point, is just the the blind hate to creative, like, no matter what. I feel like there's a lot of people that, like, just they see the label of creative on a level and it's instantly bad. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they added to the level or, like, how polished it looks. If it's a creative level, there's some people that'll just like hate on it regardless. I think people don't realize that the game just probably wasn't really making enough money to keep on doing seasons full of new Unity rounds over and over again. Because that is so expensive to do <laughs> and so time consuming. It was taking them so long to make stuff. We're also probably in a grace period right now. Oh yeah. Remember how like Legacy Season 6 lasted so long with like barely any content and then we got like free for all SS1 and then as well as like uh, SS3 lasted so long and then we got creative mode. So I feel like a lot of the time, whenever they're like building up the next launch of something, we get a long like drought of uh, a lot of content. I feel like that's that's what's going on right now because they're preparing for mobile and also the the Fall Guys stuff going on in Fortnite. I feel like oh. that's what I I have this like and this isn't confirmed. Uh oh, you died. Boy, I, I gotta I gotta lock in. You did, oh. Okay, I say that I say that and I got like triple double blasted or something. Uh yeah, I actually quite like that final. I think that's one of the best survival creative finals. It's really fun. It's pretty good, yeah. I think a lot of media tonic got relocated to work on like Fall Guys stuff in Fortnite. Because that's what happened to the Rocket League devs. Yeah. Apparently the reason why Rocket League had a massive content drought was because the Rocket League developers got relocated to Fortnite to work on rocket racing for like a year. And, that, and I think that's what's going on with Fall Guys. I think the reason why we're not getting seasons and why like they're not releasing like major things like they used to is literally just because they're uh, currently relocated at Fortnite working on like Fall Guys stuff inside of Fortnite. Which I honestly, if that's the case, I don't even mind. Because when, when the Fall Guys stuff in Fortnite comes out, that's like even more stuff to like play and make content on. I think that's gonna be huge. Yeah. So I'm actually really hyped for like the Fall Guys Fortnite stuff. I think when mobile comes out, as long as it's as popular as everyone's hoping, they will probably put a lot of people on it. If it starts making a bunch of cash, then obviously they'll put a lot of effort into making new stuff to keep all of the players and keep all the players buying skins. I think Epic Games is smart enough to know Fall Guys will need to be updated after it gets on, on mobile and there's like a big reason to do it. Cause they, they know what's going on with like Stumble Guys obviously. Like, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but like Stumble Guys I think was like top 20 biggest mobile games or like in the top 10 biggest mobile games. And what people forget is like the only reason why stumble guys is popular is because people want an alternative to fall guys to play on mobile so like as soon as fall guys gets on mobile epic games knows that like as long as they update it and like do cool stuff with it like it could easily be one of the biggest mobile games and i think epic games would definitely want to you know capitalize on like the mobile market i feel like the thing about mobile games is shooter games are not really the biggest for for mobile devices because I used to play Fortnite on mobile. I think I had oh, really? it on my phone at one point. I think platformer games are like the best type of game for mobile devices. I think Epic Games probably knows that. I so agree. even though like Fortnite is obviously their biggest game, I feel like in terms of mobile, they're gonna probably think like Fall Guys has almost better like long-term potential as a mobile game than Fortnite would. Which, believe it or not, I, I think that's probably the case. I think it is, So yeah. they're gonna value it on, on mobile a lot. I don't think Epic Games really has a big hold on the mobile market either at the moment. So having Fall Guys for that, that really will have them as big competitors in that scene. I genuinely believe that if done right, more people will play Fall Guys Mobile than Fortnite Mobile. I'm not even joking. Fall Guys is way more suitable for a mobile game than Fortnite could ever be. Because Fortnite is not designed to be a mobile game, whereas yeah. I think Fall Guys is. Like a lot of the things about Fall Guys remind me of like other mobile games like Brawl Stars and Stumble Guys. It's it's already like perfectly fit to be a mobile game. It is a perfect casual game. And this is where I kind of argue with people because a lot of people have been complaining about the three round shows and stuff like that. No one is going to sit on a mobile phone and play a seven round show of Fall Guys. Like imagine how annoyed they'd be if they disconnected in a final or something. You also have to remember that I feel like a lot of the opinions of people in the community are usually based on on personal bias i mean obviously like from our perspective right we want fall guys to get more popular because of we're course. fall guys creators so we want fall guys to get more popular whereas i think a lot of just like the dedicated fall guys players they don't really care about the popularity of the game they just want to personally have the most fun with it so even if you say to them like oh yeah you know obviously like three rounds will be better for mobile 
the, I feel like a lot of the people in the community, like they're not really gonna care about that because they just want to have like the most fun personally. They don't really care about yeah. like more people playing the game or the game getting more popular. If anything, I think a lot of people don't want Fall Guys to be popular. I feel like a lot of the people in the community think like whenever Fall Guys gets popular, it immediately gets like overrated and less fun. A lot of people have like the mentality of like popular equals bad. That sort of thing really holds back games as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously yeah, for me, I want, like my main thing is I, I want the game to be more popular because obviously like it's just personal bias. I'm a creator. So like the more popular the game gets, the more content I can make and everything is just better. But like for, for the average player, I feel like it's a lot different. Like they don't, they don't really care as much about like the popularity of the game. They just want to have like the most fun with the game, which Makes sense. This is so much better after the new update, dude. Like, this is actually a really good map now. So I understand the people that just want the game to stay the same and never to really have creative in the game because it does feel different. But at the same time, people like you and me, we obviously want new stuff. We can't just record videos on the same maps every week, every month. We want new stuff to show up and that's what people want to see usually when they watch a video. There's only so many times you can speed run the same level. Yeah, honestly, creative has like, especially this new Fall Forever update has made uh, content creation so much better. Like the new uh, piggyback feature has been really cool for like challenges. This just opens the door for more like video ideas as well as like the custom lobbies have like massively improved. Epic Games and Media Tonic have to forget about the legacy fall guys mentality i feel like back in legacy fall guys the game was really 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 casual yes. like there was no really there wasn't really a competitive part of the game but if you remember like when the game went free to play all types of like content about fall guys completely changed like if you look at legacy fall guys content from like big youtubers when they were playing the game in like legacy season one it's all like messing around with your friends but then immediately when Fall Guys went free, all the content on YouTube was like reacting to Fall Guys world records or like uh, play like hosting a courage hosted a tournament with like the best, most skilled players. Like I feel like ever since FFA, the community and even mainstream gaming has all recognized the competitive aspect of Fall Guys by now. So the, the whole like legacy thing about the game being like a casual party game is kind of over now. I think Epic Games definitely needs to uh, focus more on the competitive aspect of the game. There's a lot of competitive oh. players in this game now. Like, it's almost like the backbone of the player base. I think things will change and people are just going to have to kind of get used to that. Obviously, like there are casual players and there should always be stuff for casual players. But we also need more for the competitive community, I feel like. I mean, obviously, we're getting ranked. But if we could get time attack back or anything like that, like those tournaments that they were planning, I think uh, the competitive aspect of Fall Guys is way bigger than a lot of people think. I feel like it's definitely worth it for Epic Games to put out more like competitive related things to the game. One thing we haven't mentioned is uh, the new physics. What do you actually think of the new physics? How are you finding them? So surprisingly, I actually play better with the new physics. Before the new physics, I think I did like 1v1s with like certain pro players and lost. And then after the new physics, I did I won one v one like those same players and beat them. I play way better with the new physics. I have no idea why, but that makes me like them. I mean, it's just personal yeah. bias, but like because I play better with them, I like I like them so far. So I heard a few pro players said that the new physics seem to make it a lot more even between like consoles of different kinds and like different FPS and connection speeds, and that it's all kind of a lot more even now. So it means no one has so much of an advantage as they used to, which is really interesting. The only thing I wish would happen with this map is I wish the hex tiles like respawned. Like it, it, obviously it would be best if they took a long time to respawn, but I would just I would rather they respawn at, at least at some at some point. Yeah. I feel like the fact that when they go away they're gone forever makes the level kind of RNG a little bit. It's kind of hard to explain, but like. I feel like the fact that the, the tiles don't respawn makes it slightly RNG, at least in my opinion. Hey, you yeah, got, I got it. the win though. Nice. I think that's a good way to uh, end the episode. All right. Well, thank you very much for having a kind of little discussion about where creative's going, the update and everything. And I think we covered some good topics there. It's good to like, you know, get stuff off my chest, yeah. you know, have like discuss, because I do have a lot of thoughts about this game for sure. Well, obviously we both do because the game is super important to us and people don't realize we're not just being positive just because we want to do well. We want the game to do well and we want people who are fans of the game to be happy with the game. And sometimes we won't agree, sometimes we will, but we all want what's best for the game and uh, yeah. that's all we can really ask for. A lot of people will sometimes like criticize uh, us for being like overly positive. 
I feel like the thing is like, I'll give criticism about the game. Yeah. But the only thing is like, I won't get to a point where it's like, oh, this update is so bad. Like this game is over beyond recovery. I feel like a lot of people will criticize so hard to the point where their base, their point is basically like the game is over and there's no recovering from it. I'm never gonna go that far because I'm not gonna give up on the game. But what I will say is like, criticism in a way that's like, okay, here's what they could do better. It, it would be better if they, I hope they do this, but I'm never gonna be like, oh, what they're doing is so bad, the game is over, I'm done. Which I feel like that's what that's what people almost want me to say. I feel like I feel like people want me to be just uh, like eventually say like, oh, this new update sucks, like I'm done with the game. And if I don't say that, I'm apparently like paid or something <laughs> yeah. like sponsored, which is just not true. I'm just never gonna hate so much that I give up on the game. Like I, I always have the mentality that like, no matter how bad the update, I'll give criticism but I, I'm still having the mentality that they're gonna come back from this or like they're, they're gonna, you know what I mean? Like I'm never gonna just fully give up. And sometimes people don't realize when a game tries to do something new, especially if it's in advance of a big change, they're not always gonna get it 100% right and they're not always gonna make everyone happy. And sometimes they'll need a bit of help from the community to just guide them a bit and say, we don't like this, could you change this? But we do like this. And they might just need to hear a bit of positive feedback and communication where if if you just say this sucks what what do they work with they yeah it doesn't accomplish anything that doesn't accomplish anything but yeah this has been a this has been a good talk thanks it was nice to uh, do a video again it's been a little while since the last one i was gonna say a closing statement to the video everyone go subscribe to octo paul let's get wait, wait what are you at right now everyone subscribe to octo paul let's get him to fifty thousand subscribers before may i'll, I'll settle for a hundred thousand I'll sell it for a hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him to a hundred thousand subscribers before 2025. Let's and you're probably already all subscribed to Stentric, but just in case you aren't and you've had some sort of weird accident, make sure you are. And that covers it all, I think.